Hello everybody, so today I decided to film a Q&A. Yesterday I put up a video asking you for some questions and I pirated it pretty quickly because I didn't want to have too many questions to answer because I would feel like I needed to answer all of them. Um, so I've just got a selection of questions to answer. Some of them I have answered before so I won't be answering them or I will try and answer it kind of differently. Um, but let's get straight in and remember to subscribe if you want to just down below so go and do that so let's get into the video um serena t asked what is your life goal if you have one um my life goal is to well i don't really have a life goal i think as long as you're happy in life then everything is going to be a lot better um so you've just got to make sure that you're making yourself feel positive all the time that you're making choices in your life that makes everything positive whether it be a simple everyday task like i don't know um, having a really nice lunch or something just to make your life that little bit better and then in the long run everything will be fine um, but if I was to pick a life goal as such I don't know like I really feel most passionately about my YouTube channel so my my, my main life goal would be to um, grow my channel a bit more like I never want to grow it like really big like, obviously that would be good but like that's not my goal are you not going to mention about Dylan in his blue hair if you get 3,000 subscribers oh yeah if we get 3,000 subscribers, my cousin's going to dye his hair blue. And Dylan, if you're watching this, you better. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to get 3,000 subscribers ASAP um, for that to happen. Um, she said, also, are you going to uni? Um, yes, I am. I applied to a uni near my house. Very close. I wanted to stay local just because I feel like, you know, why the hell would I want to travel really far? and stay in a uni in accommodation I've never been in before, a city I've never been to before potentially, um, and a university that I've never really heard of much about, um, for me anyway. I just, that would just absolutely like, I would be a mess. Plus, if you get the same grades at Lincoln, you then didn't have to pay for the room fees and whatnot, so. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I don't have to pay for accommodation or anything like that. I don't have to stress myself out. I am quite a worried, anxious person some of the times. So going to uni is enough for me to be like very scared. So to actually move away is just something that I personally, I just can't do myself. And going to one near my house just makes so much sense. The course I want to do is perfect and I can get the grades hopefully for that. I wouldn't be able to get the grades for other unis because they require quite high ones. Um, the course that I'm gonna be doing at uni is hopefully accounting and finance. I've already sent off my UCAS application and the uni that I want to go to has given me a conditional offer, which means that as long as I get the grades, I get in, which is fingers crossed hopefully what's gonna happen, but I will keep you updated. Um, and I probably will do a video on how I wrote my personal statement and all that kind of thing um, at some point. But um, for now, that's what I want to do. I want to go to uni. And I think the course is three years. It said three to four years, so it could potentially be four years, but I think it's gonna be three. I'm kicking it with Chris, and she asked, how old are you? Very simple, simple question to get into the video. And I am 17 years old. My birthday is actually on the 8th of January, so I will be 18 soon. Um, but yeah, that's how old I am. Megan Cole asked, favourite animal? My favourite animal, I don't have a favourite animal. If I'm honest, I don't have a favourite animal. I like cats, I like dogs. I'm a bit scared of dogs, so I probably wouldn't say dogs. But, I don't know, I like all animals really. Um, she also asked, most embarrassing moment. I have answered that before, but... I don't know, I feel like when I was younger, every single day was my most embarrassing moment. So I, I've answered that before and I have said something, um, but I'm not gonna answer that now because I have answered it before. Um, where do you see yourself in five years time? Well, this reminds me of like an interview question. Um, hang on, how old will I be in five years time? I will be approximately um, 23. You will be 23. No, I won't, I'll be 22. Why would you say 23? Well, no, because I'm nearly 18. I thought you was 18. No. Oh, okay. It's fine. I will be approximately nearly 23. Um, and I don't know, what I'll be, will I still be in uni? I won't be in uni, I don't think. No, I definitely won't be in uni um, because I am actually gonna be answering a question about uni, so stay tuned if you wanna hear about that. Um, but I would finish uni, hopefully in a job of some description, 
um, or something. Hopefully my YouTube channel is still going. Hopefully it's grown a bit more from now. Um, yeah, that's hopefully where I'll be in five years time. Um, Libby Life asked, what do you use to record? Well, currently at the moment I use my phone to record. I feel like phones are actually quite good for recording because the quality is not that bad. Like you can see now, like it's not that bad, but I am getting a camera for my birthday. Um, it's the Canon G7X. It's the Mark One, not the Mark II. Um, but that's what I'm getting for my birthday. So hopefully we'll have to see about quality difference and that kind of thing. Um, Fuzz123 asked, do you have any subjects you wish you did for GCSEs? Um, yes. Now, the only reason why I wish that I'd done this is because, or the only reason why I didn't do this subject is because my school didn't have it and that's photography. I love everything to do with kind of arts and photography and all that kind of thing. Like I love taking pictures and I don't know, like, I feel like if you've done a photography course, there's a reason for taking a picture and there's a reason for being more creative. Whereas now I don't really have like a reason to take pictures. So like, I don't really put that much effort into them, but I don't know, that's just something that I would have loved to have done at GCSE and actually at A-level. So if I was to swap one of my A-levels now, I would swap biology for photography. Like I probably wouldn't, but if I had to swap one, then I would um, do that because I just feel like chemistry and maths um, in my A-levels are quite like hard subjects um, and so is biology um, but they're enough on their own and I think photography would have been quite a nice thing to do as more like a hobby subject than like a really like I don't know packed full of information subject. Um, <clears throat> Orbinator or as we all know him, Aubrey, my boyfriend Aubrey said, if you could go back in time to any point in your life knowing what you know now, what, where would you go back to? Um, probably just the whole of primary school really, because I used to spend a lot of my primary school worrying. If you didn't know, I had selective mutism when I was younger, so I used to worry all the time about absolutely everything. So I would probably tell myself back then that everything is gonna be fine, that you're gonna recover, you're gonna be completely fine, you're gonna be able to do interviews, you're gonna be able to make friends really easily. I would just reassure myself of that and don't know whether it would have made myself feel any better. It probably would have done. Um, actually, it would have done because, yeah, you just worry, like I used to worry about things to come in like five years time. So yeah, don't do that. Um, Beauty, Beauty and More asked, what was your most embarrassing moment? Well, obviously, um, that's already been asked in this Q&A, but I didn't answer it. But I think I will answer it, considering two people have asked it. Um, basically, I was running around the school field once at primary school. We had our pyjamas on, it was like a fun run thing. And then my friend Topaz, running in front of me, was going a little bit slow at the start, um, and I set off a little faster. I tripped over her, and my trousers came down, and it wasn't fun, and I fell over. So yeah, that's what happened. Um, she also asked, why did you start a YouTube channel? That's the most common question I always get asked and I've answered it so many times. Um, but I think starting a channel, you start a channel because you like talking or because you've got something to say. A lot of people say like they don't know, like they wanna start a channel but they don't know what to talk about. And if that's the case, then that means that you don't really wanna start a channel because I can literally think of so many things that I can do videos on. And if that's not you, then you probably shouldn't start one. Um, or maybe you should, you know, get inspiration from other YouTubers, which is what I do. Um, I don't film videos because I, I think people want to watch that. I film them because I like filming them. So I, f I feel like, you know, that's why I started f uh, doing my YouTube channels because I like filming them. Um, how much do you get paid from YouTube? Now, I have only just started getting paid from YouTube and I was actually shocked at how much you do actually get paid from YouTube. I didn't realize it was that much. And it's only like a small amount in comparison to like bigger YouTubers, but I was expecting like, I don't know, two pounds a month or something like that, or even less than that. Um, but it's approximately, I get paid anyway for my channel, about 10 pounds a month. And at the minute mine's on 40 pounds. So I've been going for like, four months with the being paid thing. And you can only take the money out after, um, after about, oh, when you get to six, 60 pounds, you can then um, withdraw the money. So I've got a couple more months to go and then I can withdraw the money. Um, people always ask like, how many views do you get to be paid? 
I don't know myself, but a lot of YouTubers, like bigger YouTubers, always say it's approximately a thousand views for one pound. Um, obviously, like my previous videos are doing really well. My current videos don't get like thousands of views, of course, but some of my older videos do. So they're the ones that are like rocking up the money. Um, but yeah, that it's about 1,000 views for a pound. Um, but obviously it takes into consideration how long people are watching the video for, so you'll be paid more. Um, how many adverts you put in, because I can actually put more adverts in the video um, if I want to, and that will get paid more, only slightly. If you watch an advert all the way through, I get one pence. Um, so if you skip it, I don't get one pence. So make sure you're watching them adverts. No, I'm joking, adverts are boring as hell. Um, so yeah, that's about that. Um, Fuzz123, again, asked, how did you pick your GCSEs? I just picked what I enjoy, and I would 100% recommend that, because GCSEs, at the end of the day, the only ones that really and truly matter are the biology, chemistry, um, physics, maths, English, them ones, like, to get into the next level. All your other things that you've taken, just take them as hobbies. Most colleges and most sixth forms are looking for, I don't know, like colleges look for five A styles to C most of the time. Sixth form will look for like, I don't know, like like Bs or As in um, your science and your English and stuff. So just take what you enjoy. And I would 100% say that because if you take something that you're not going to enjoy and that you potentially might do bad in, then that grade just looks bad. If you're doing something that you enjoy... Have you got something to say? I do actually. Oh, hang on. Wait there. Um, wait there. If you've got to do something that you enjoy, then you're probably going to do really well in it. That grade will look really good. Like, I took French, got an A star in it, looks really good, but it's nothing to do with what I'm doing now. And what do you have to say, Tommy, my brother? Uh, yep, yeah, I'm uh, just saying, no, uh, with your A-levels and your stuff, uh, we've been told that, like, jobs and that, they just want uh, to know that you can learn, so... A degree or A-levels and anything just prove that you can learn something. It's not necessarily what you take. So if you take something you enjoy, you're more likely to get a higher grade in that, which proves you can learn more. So <laughs> Very true. Yeah. So that's what me and Tommy are recommending. Do what you enjoy so that you can do best in that and all your grades look a lot better. Um, <clears throat> she also asked, what was your favourite subject at GCSE? My favourite subject was... French. No, no, no. I did like French, but it was very stressful, very difficult. And I did do really well in it, but it was stressful. Um, so it probably wasn't my favourite. I did love art, GCSE art. I think art was something that was just so fun. Like, it's just a fun thing to do. Can, you look forward to the lessons. Art is a stupid subject, I mean, come on. So I would say <laughs> art was my favourite. Um, Floral March says, what are your plans for Christmas? Okay, the only Christmassy video, considering I've got all this going on in the background. Um, my plans for Christmas. Well, Christmas Eve, we always have the same tradition. I will be vlogging on Christmas Eve. What's funny? That was a stupid subject. It's a sad matter. Anyway, I will be vlogging on Christmas Eve, so I won't really tell you what we're going to be doing then. You can just go and watch that when I upload it. Um, Christmas Day, I'm going to my Nana's house and... All of my family are going over as well, like aunties and uncles and cousins and things like that. So yeah, we always open our presents like when we wake up in the morning. Some people actually open their stockings in the morning and then open the rest of their presents in the afternoon. We don't have stockings. Um, we just open like, all our presents from underneath the tree. There's actually presents underneath the tree already, but they're not ours. They're my friends. I wrapped them yesterday, so they're oh, my friends. Oh, let me do secret Yeah. Um, so yeah, got all my friends under there. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of what we do for Christmas. Ish. Um, Larry Games asks, who's your favourite YouTuber to watch when you're bored? Big Shaq. I think when you're bored, you want to watch something quite entertaining. Roman Shaq. I don't, I don't really watch YouTube videos that are like entertaining as such. I like watching motivational videos or beauty videos. I really love Nikki Tutorial. She gives so much makeup inspiration. I really love watching um, t um, Tati. She's a really good makeup person. Um, she uploads so frequently. The Anna Reddit for motivational videos makes me motivated to film, makes me motivated to just do things with my day. So yeah, them three for definite. When I'm bored, I just I just want to watch anything really. Okay. 
found it. Nerina Grace asked if you could have any job in the world, what would it be and why? I have answered that before, um, but I will answer it again. Um, I would really like to be an accountant just because I know a lot of people that are accountants or they, I don't know, a lot of people do say like, oh, it's so boring, but I think it, you know, your job is only boring if you make it boring yourself, if that's the way you think of things. And like, I do revision and I find myself making it interesting. So I don't know, I just feel like oh. it's, things are only, I don't know, you just, you just do. Things are only boring in your life if you make them boring. So I, I don't know, I would really like to do, be an accountant. Obviously I would still like to be doing my YouTube channel and because I do get paid a little bit, for YouTube that kind of counts as a little contribution made me pocket money um, and obviously as my channel grows um, the money will come in a little bit more unless YouTube just dies one day which it probably will um, but yeah probably to be an accountant. So that is the end of today's q and I really hope you enjoyed seeing the answers to my questions that you've asked. I would have answered some more, but I had to quickly private it before I had too many. So give the video a thumbs up, subscribe down below for more videos, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.